Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time this video finds you. This is the Frank Guest YouTube channel, and I am Frank Guest. Uh, today, I'm lucky enough to be in the Christian Experience Center in uh, in New Jersey, uh, and right now we're going to be going over the the Crestron residential lineup. And I have Brian here with me. Brian, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and talk to me about what's beyond this door? Thanks, Frank. Nice to see you. Come on in. Let's take a look at Crestron Home in action inside our house. So upon entry, right at the beginning of the visit, you select a button, welcome, and you'll see uh, a scene kick in. Uh, whether it is uh, shades and lights moving in different positions, um, video and audio turning on, uh, all of this is a welcome scene, uh, starting out uh, what a process would be when you enter your home. And the welcome scene for this particular house, what exactly happened when we walked in? I mean, I saw lights turn on and mm -hmm. TVs turned on. Yeah, so a lot of magic going on. Mm -hmm. uh, music kicked on. Uh, we have shades in various rooms, uh, all moving right now. Uh, the lighting set to specific levels. Um, I also have specific video sources turned on on the displays, so it's waking up the whole showroom. Gotcha, so pretty much anything that you want to turn on, you had it set for it to turn on. Exactly. Point. Perfect. Absolutely. And what's unique um, from Crestron from a residential perspective, um, the lighting control and the fixtures themselves in here are Crestron. Uh, the temperature control, the motors inside the shades, uh, the audio and video distribution, all Crestron. Hmm. So it's one seamless system communicating with each other natively on one platform. Oh, very nice. So that, 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 that helps a lot with the handshakes and make sure everything, everything seamlessly works together. Yeah, no lost in translation moments happening there. Right, right. No, I, I, I like that a lot. Uh, so do you have like a, like a home interface? You know, yeah, in absolutely. Yeah, so, and is that over here in the kitchen? Yeah, let's go take a look there. Let's take a peek. Sorry for the brief interruption, but I just wanted to personally thank you for clicking on this video and watching it today. If you have not done so already, uh, please hit that subscribe button uh, and then click on the bell and toggle the all notifications. I only post one or two videos a month, so I'm not going to bog down your inbox with notifications from YouTube. If you like my content and you want to see more, I do have a merch store where you can purchase items like this. Uh, if you're watching on a mobile device, uh, turn your phone to portrait mode, uh, and then you can look below here, and you can see items like my popular snapback hat. Scroll down a bit more, and you'll see view on Spreadshop. Uh, from that point, just click Add to Cart, and then you can go right to the Secure Checkout. When watching on a Mac or PC, uh, it's the exact same process. Thank you again for watching that video, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. Okay. So now we're in the kitchen, and what do we have here on the uh, kitchen counter? Well, this is a tabletop version of one of our touchscreens. Um, what's nice about Crestron is we still make physical interfaces, like a, a wired touch panel. Mm -hmm. um, this gives the opportunity for it to reside somewhere specific, it's not floating like one of the supplemental devices, like a mobile device or a tablet. Mm -hmm. um, and with Crestron Home, uh, we allow the interface to mirror or to uh, resemble what the interface would be on a tablet. So there's no separate learning process or learning curve that has to happen between the uh, varying devices. Um, this being here in this uh, location gives a nice convenient opportunity for any of the controls whether it's specifically here in the kitchen or it's going into rooms uh, in other areas of the house. So I'm choosing the kitchen here, and by choosing and selecting the kitchen, I have some quick scenes. If I want to toggle lights on and off or I want to toggle my shades open, I have opportunities to do that very quickly. Um, but then here on the screen, when I select the lights and I drill down, I have some scenes. So whether it's a, an evening scene or cleaning scene or cooking scene, uh, these are opportunities as quick actions mm -hmm. for the homeowner to choose common ways that they like their lights and varying needs. Okay. I also have my music control from here, my climate control, uh, the ability uh, to access other rooms from here. If there's a nearby room and maybe the volume control in that room needs to be adjusted um, because we're sharing that music, I have the opportunity to go ahead from right on the same screen and make an adjustment to that volume level uh, in a completely different room mm -hmm. uh, just to make that adjustment without having to go to that dedicated room uh, or pull out my mobile device. Nice, and I see you've got all rooms and you've got favorites, so mm -hmm. obviously if, you, if you're in the kitchen and your bedroom a lot, those are your favorites. Absolutely. Now that's a great point you bring up, Frank. In the past, uh, based on user and device, uh, an integrator with their programmer 
if you wanted one interface to have different favorites or a different user to have different favorites from one another, it was different versions of the code that you actually had to write for that project. With Crestron Home, um, this device, the favorites that are selected here in the kitchen can be different than ones that the touchscreen in the living room has listed as its favorites, which could be different than the rooms that you would have on your mobile device as favorites, which could be different than the rooms that I have listed on my mobile device as favorites. So the interface itself allows that flexibility dynamically. I'm literally choosing the heart that's in the upper corner and it's adding to my favorite list. If I were to remove these hearts, you're gonna see favorites disappears completely. Oh wow. This wow. used to be something in code that would mm -hmm. have to be written. But you can do it here just with the touch, with the touch of a button. Literally choosing uh, the simple little heart in the corner creates the favorite and then gives the ability for you to then sort by favorites That's based awesome. on this device. Also, if you're gonna have like a party over at your house and you know everybody's gonna be in the basement, you know, yeah, and just to be able to, oh, I'm going to add the basement to my favorites today. I love that. Mm -hmm. on, the, on demand. On, yeah, on demand favorites. That's, re that's really great. Super dynamic for sure. So, so what other interfaces do you have in here? So, so we saw the touch panel at the front door. Mm -hmm. um, what about voice commands? Yeah, we can, we've got voice commands as well. Many people immediately associate it with Alexa. Um, and that's been a partner of our of Crestron's for years. So we're able to integrate with Alexa. We found that some users um, are not leaning towards doing Alexa. Some of the homeowners are CEOs of uh, financial firms and banks, and um, so they're a little weary of what information is being listened to and gathered, so they've steered away from uh, maybe using a solution like that. Uh, we have a uh, manufacturer that's actually made for our industry um, named Josh AI, and we have that integrated into this uh, space here. Um, and we're able to do some unique things uh, where it knows what room the microphone is in that we're speaking to. So if I were to say something like, hey, Josh, close the shade, the shade that's here in the kitchen will lower. And I didn't have to be specific about the room because we're in this room. Right, so you didn't have to say close the kitchen shade. Correct. Right, it, exactly. it, it knows where you're at, and you can see now, you can see the shade is coming down. Um, but if I did want to make a change to another room, uh, for example, the living room, I can say, hey, Josh, close the shade in the living room. And I, I will get confirmation that it's closing them. And uh, right now, to our right, the mm -hmm. shades are lowering. I know they're whisper quiet. We make super quiet motors. So you're not hearing loud motors. Uh, confirming that it's happening. And, um, and, and, I, and I like the, the audible you know, recognition, so it heard you, so it says, you know, it says living room shades are closing. That's right. And so we gain a lot of flexibility with Josh. It's meant for our industry. It's meant for the integration channel um, to be able to create a, a more flexible user experience, more natural speak mm -hmm. uh, is what they're going for, but it's also very secure. So moving over to the other side of the kitchen, so this is your voice control right here. Yeah, this is a, a microphone and processor in one communicating back to the head end to its core. Um, but this, is, they do have two options. They have, this is one where you're planning forward a new construction. Um, they do have a retrofitable option that sits on a counter uh, if you need it to, um, that could be Wi-Fi connected. Uh, also, there are companies that make recessed back boxes that could be put into the wall later um, for the, uh, this is called the Nano and they also have the micro. And the micro is one that is easily retrofitable, can be added to a system after the fact, if it was not a, a thought about discussion or a preference for the homeowner. Um, Which probably happens a lot, I'd imagine. It does, it does. Uh, it, that becomes one of those, you know, I won't need that, I won't need that, and then after some time, they realize they'd like to, to try it, and, it ends up being something they like, and now they can add it. So, so remember that. So add, add that from the beginning, and it's got a little light on it. So it, mm -hmm. when, when you say when you say his name, and yeah. hey Josh, you can see a little pause light the light music. Music pulls. And if you notice, when he said pause the music, I was actually talking at the same time. So it it worked. Yeah, it's, I was thinking in my head, saying, "I bet the music's not going to turn off because I was because I interrupted you." Yes, we didn't even plan that. That's <laughs> why I love when that happens. Uh, but so yeah, so this is their nano. Um, it could be um, paint, you know, re put into the wall and then 
the piece could be painted so it blends right into the wall. Um, and it could be placed in strategic locations uh, so that a user can communicate wherever they are and it can hear them. Uh, what's nice too is they also have an ability to trigger it through your mobile device. If you're nowhere near the microphone without yelling through your house for it to, it would hear you, mm -hmm. um, but you'd be yelling pretty loudly. Um, you can go through the app and select that you'd like to say that command and do it right from your mobile device. So a lot of flexibility there. Gotcha. And you have smart plugs, you know, but behind each TV you have, you know, smart bulbs and the lights or, you know? No, no, no we didn't, we didn't need to settle. Didn't um, need to settle. These are PoE devices here. Um, and then because our, pretty much every Crestron device is on a network in some way, shape or form, uh, these devices are all able to be seen and communicated with uh, by being on the network. Great. And so you've got a, a little rack hidden in a closet someplace that nobody's got to look at. Yeah. Um, of course, the one here is really, really attractive looking, but, but we're not going to show that to you. Yeah. Um, but uh, so no, this, this, is, this is really interesting. This is actually my first glimpse at Crestron uh, Residential, you know, with me having my, integration, my integrator background. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I saw this on the website and I knew I was going to be coming here, so I wanted to reach out to you yeah. and see if you could, you know, give my viewers a little bit of a tour. And this is brand new. This, is, this yeah. actually isn't even finished being built yet. No, no, they're getting a, a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. uh, see, it's all because it's Frank. You That's guys, right. you guys get this opportunity to see the space. Uh, but yeah, the residential component of Crestron uh, to have a space to tell the story, it's very experiential. Um, homes are personal for individuals and for them to connect something that might not be a familiar topic for them, um, technology, they may have never had any in their home before, or you might have different aptitudes for technology living in the same home. Some embrace it, some reject it, or are a little bit fearful and weary. To be able to come to a space and see it in action, both leave with an appreciation. Some, the walls come down, others, they want more of it. So uh, having a space like this is gonna be very beneficial for our in integrators to utilize as a resource uh, to bring their clients here, be able to tell the story of technology without trying to explain the story, mm -hmm. let the button pressing and the action uh, tell the story for them and create that experience. And even though this is a new house built inside a building, Crestron's not new to residential. I mean, been doing it for over 20 years. Yeah, residential was actually our larger of the markets for a good number of years. I started in 2007 and residential was more of uh, our sales than commercial projects. So uh, residential has been around um, and, and is just being more and more embraced as technology evolves. More and more people are asking for it in some way, shape or form. And we're happy to be here to be an option for them. Hopefully, well, well, the solution for them. Sure. Well, I, I want to thank you very much for for taking some time out of your busy uh, out of your busy day uh, to show to introduce this to me and my and my viewers. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, Frank. Thanks, hey, sir. Thank you appreciate so much. It. Definitely. All right. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. Have yourself a great day.